Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Uh, today I've just been to Newark with my buddy Anthony. We've had a bit of fun, it was good. Bought quite a lot of crap. Um, so I thought I hadn't bought that much, but I've probably got enough to do five videos. But today I'm going to do something unusual and I'm going to try and cram it all into one video. So I'll try and go as brief as I can and try and get it all in one video rather than making you watch five like normal. Uh, just be good to you today. Also, um, the guess the price will be at the end. So I'll tell you the price of everything I paid, what I bought, why I bought it, and we can get on with it from there. We go. The very first thing I bought, literally got out of the car, I saw was this really, really nice, um, um, sort of early, um, um, does that say France? I think that says possibly France. It says ants. But beautiful, it's loose, the head's loose, um, um, but it's a beautiful little, um, I forgot the name of it now, um, but look at that bulbous handle, jewellers, chasing, um, whatever, hammer. But I just loved the bauble handle, really nicely turned on the lathe, beautiful turn, it's got a crack there, the lady wanted um, 35 quid for that, she said they're very fair, she's obviously Googled them. I think that I can probably glue the head on or probably put another wedge in there and then fill and sand that crack. But it's a beautiful little tool. Um, I'm not going to walk past that. So I'll pick that up. The next thing was this. She cut the prices off. Is an Eclipse um, used blades. Um, really, really cool retro looking thing. Uh, Jim from Hansel Restorations had a few of these. Um, he always seems to find them cheap on eBay. Um, I've not really come across one. It's got loads of blades. Um, I think the blades sort of go in there. And then obviously the tool goes in there. Um, like so. Really, really nice. Got cool retro designs on it. Bit worn on the case, but it's nice to have the case nonetheless. Um, a nice retro item. So the lady wanted, I think, 24 on that. 35 on that. I got her down to £40 for the two, so that was 15 and that was 25 Quite a lot of money, <clears throat> but I like those hammers. They're my favourite, one of my favourite tools per se. <clears throat> the next item <clears throat> was this, was a job lot, not including this. Um, so I got this original Stawilly um, tool. It's um, a chisel, looks to be N NOS uh, chisel. Um, I thought that might be good for my buddy in New Zealand. Um, so that might go to Adrian. Next time I ship a parcel, I'll chuck it in. Um, I thought it's kind of cool. I like the writing still. Really. I don't know if it's modern or not. The guy had <clears throat> a lot of old stuff. So it could just be NOS or somebody could have just painted it to stop it rusting. I'm not sure, to be honest. It's hard to tell. But nice. This is the original. You'd be able to tell by the writing, probably. But a nice chisel. <coughs> And um, we've got a Raybone uh, ruler. He wanted 20 for that. We've got an Eclipse. We're on a bit of an Eclipse um, um, run at the minute. We've got this really cool, um, I'm not even sure what it is. It's not a pad saw, is it? Hacksaw with blades and trimmer. And then we've got a pad saw. So hacksaw, pad saw, really nice. Um, bulbous handle. I've never found one of these before, so I'll grab that. We've got a really nice early with the brass um lever cap i learned that from mag dad i think that the brass means it's earlier and it's much bigger so i think this is a world war one army knife really really nice has it got any dates it's probably got a date there somewhere need to clean it and have a look i reckon it's got a date somewhere on that really nice little seaman's knife it's got the all whatever so i was well happy with that with the brass handle not got one that size We've got a um, favourite of uh, Jack from Jack Shed, an aluminium uh, quarter inch little ratchet. I would give it him, but he's already got about three, so I don't think he'd be bothered. Somebody has written the name in it, but aluminium, very, very light. Super cool. We've got a really nice Lucas and Son favourite oiler with the original screw end. These are always missing. And it's brass and it's been nickel plated. So I'm tempted to polish off that and have it shiny brass. I think that'll be nice because you can see the brass is peeking through, um, 
So I might give that a buff, see if I can get that off. Uh, really, really nice. Um, Euler, usually people want 25. When you find them, they want 25, 28, 32. That kind of money. We've got this brass duck box end or dog bone wrench. It's French uh, Depose. Um, little French, I've got, I'm sure I've got one of those, but I chucked it in and then we got three really cool keys. Really rusty, but really nice. I love these keys. Um, I think they're super cool. I always pick them up if I find them with the really cool designs on them. <clears throat> so he asked me 60 pound a lot. He wanted 20 for that. And I think it was like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 kind of thing, 60 quid and um, with the chisel. I got him down to £40 the lot. So 40 quid, so 10, uh, 10, 20, and then 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, something like that. So oh, that's worth 10. So I was quite happy with that anyway. 10, 10, possibly 10, and then a pound an item or something. So anyway, I was pleased with that. I thought it was a good deal. So I was happy with that. That knife, I think, is worth 40 quid on its own. So I thought that was 40 quid. Happy with that. Um, the next one is this lot of junk. Um, I grabbed this. It's a no-name um, little, um, what do you call it, hand vice. Nothing special. I um, asked the guy how much that. He said two quid. I put it down. I thought, oh, I've got loads. And then I saw this set of Bernard pliers. They're in quite good shape, but they've obviously rusted up really bad. They need a good clean and a good rust. But these are for my buddy uh, Alex. He likes... Bernard's, I don't know if he's already got this side. I think it's a six inch Alex. I'm sure I sent you a four inch. No, it's a seven inch uh, Bernard pliers. Um, so I'm not sure if you've got them, but if you want them, they're yours. <coughs> also for Alex, I found this made in the USA, um, made in the USA blue point wrench, one pound. He asked two, I got them down to a pound. Um, it's a fat, five, uh, 15 sixteenths and the seven eighths uh, wrench. So, I, I, Alex, if you don't want these or you don't like them, let me know because I keep buying them and I don't know if you actually want them or not. But you'll have a set eventually the way I'm buying them. So, American, American. Of course, we've got an American Ford pair of pliers. Slip joints obviously come in the toolkit. Uh, they were a pound. So, I thought, why not live the dream? Um, so, Pound, pound, um, pound, whatever, two, one pound fifty. So that was Alex. The next item was off my friend Roger. Um, he owed me seventy pound because I bought a wrench from a resto. Rob held me buy it for him from America. Um, he wanted thirty pound for this. I thought it was reasonable. A French adjusting wrench, really kind of cool. I like the shape of it. A bit pitted, but is what it is. We got this early English one, my friend. Um, Matty just got one and I sent the picture to Roger he said oh I've got a double of that so he sent it really really cool so he brought that with him and this one Matty picked up he done a good video as well on this I don't know if he's posted it works kind of interesting you would just adjust the size you put it on and then you've got the size adjust it put it on so you can obviously it's got four adjusts a very early English, I think, adjustable wrench. Very pitted, and Matty's is in much better condition. So that was 20, that was 20, and that was 30. Um, I paid seven, 30, 72 for the wrench, so basically it was just a straight swap. Um, really happy with that one, and that one, less so with that, is in pretty bad nick. Right, that's that lot, let's move on to the next one. Right guys, so this is the next pile of junker picked up. So we've got a massive, um Ghidorah for Jimbo. Um it's a one and thirteen sixteenths, I think, Jimbo. AFM. It's not Air Ministry, is it? It's the standard whatever. But yeah, so we've got a German big ass um adjustable wrench. Um I did buy two of these and Jimbo oh, I bought them for a pound last time. Jimbo sold one for like 32 quid because he's a legend. So I paid two pounds for this one. It's bloody massive Jim. Um that's 12 it's about uh 22 inches long and it weighs a ton and i had to carry it around the field so you better be grateful so that was um two pound for jimbo for resale so if you want that jimbo will put it up and you can bid on it 
And um, the next item I got was these really cool set of uh, wire cutters. I just like the mechanism on them. Quite filthy dirty, but I really like the mechanism. Um, I asked how much, he said five. He had this um, rather nice conditioned, it's like mint condition, it's just um, rusty. Um, we've got this E-swing hatchet. Um, asked how much, he said five. I offered him eight, he said no worries. I gave him £10, he said I've got no change, I said neither have I. So I spent the next five minutes trying to find people to get change off. Then his buddy came back, he gave me a fiver with a change. So I gave him two, took £2 out, said there's £2, there's your three plus the fiver. Because uh, I had to add two fivers rather than the tenner. And he said, uh, so he came back, he said oh you've shortchanged me by 60p. I said I haven't shortchanged you, he shortchanged your buddy because... I gave him a fiver and a touch, so that was that. I should have just given him the ten pound, and then I wouldn't have had the bother. But I really like those pliers. I think they're really cool. So I thought the mechanism, and that's a bargain. Probably about forty quid to buy new. So I'll wire wheel that up and give that a clean. Nice hatchet, really nice hatchet for um, or axe. Really good condition for four pound, four pound. Um, the next one wasn't a bargain, <clears throat> but it's a number three I I Sorby. I don't know if you can see that I Sorby number three hatchet. Um, it's been hammered and worn out, but I just like the shape of the head. I was hoping he was going to say a fiver. He said forty quid. I went oh forty quid. That's quite a lot. And I just felt the weight of it. I thought wow, that is a nice hatchet. So I had no internet signal. And he said, oh, my mate said they're 100 quid them, so I want 40 for it. I went, Oof. So I thought, mm, I don't know if I should leave it or not. So in the end, I got him down to 25 with a good haggle. Um, I Googled it, and they're going for about 40 to 80 quid. But there was one on bids, but it wasn't as nice. It was more like that shape. So uh, it's probably the money. 25 is probably the money. But I would have liked to have paid about 15 or 10 for it. But, you know... You can't, you can't have everything in life, can you? You can't have everything. So, lovely handle, heavy weight. I don't know if it's the original timber, but such a heavy, heavy feel to it. And it just got a lovely feel, so I was happy with that. Right, the middle one was off the other spanner man, but he had no spanners. So, I bought all these items. I got a brass set of sort of um, dividers. Really, really cool. I got this kind of oil gunny thing. Auto ram grease, can you see? Auto ram grease gun, made in England. I just like the handle on it with the screw. I thought it was really nice. He wanted 15 for that, I think, alone. Um, a cool looking, like, pluggy wrench. I thought it was funky. A lovely little file with a lovely brass handle with a brass ferrule. Brass ferrule with a, like a hardwood handle. And a lovely four-sided little file. I think that's a beauty. Love that. And a really cool pair of scissors. That was in the pound section on his thing. And a brass broad arrow. Um, Rayburn and Son brass Birmingham rule. So altogether £19. I didn't haggle. He said he gave me that for a tenner. He was like three, three, two pound two. So it's 19. I just gave him the 19. So that's all that lot. Some good stuff there. Really pleased. Um, um, the ha I think that's beautiful. I just think I paid too much for it. You'll have to tell me in the comments. Right, let's move on to the last one. Simple. Bing bang bosh. So what's your favourite item? I want to see in the comments. If you're going to leave a comment, please do. Also, how much do you think I paid for the Russian USSR Vice? Um, and yeah, thanks for watching if you got this far. Um, because there's only one guess, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give seven points to the person who guesses closest or guesses correct. Um, if you have to share it, you'll get normal points. But if someone's closest, they'll get seven points because it's a big old haul, so it should have a lot more chances. So there's only one chance. So seven quid, uh, seven quid, seven points. All right, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a lovely day. Take care.